Hey guys, welcome back to the Dante and Ricky channel. I'm Dante. And I'm Ricky. Uh, and today we have something a little bit different. We actually found footage of the previous Dante and Ricky. Yeah. Um, which is weird because I thought we were the first Dante and Ricky. Yeah, apparently there's more. Yeah, so we're going to share that footage with you. Um, it kind of looks like it's a documentary about how they got into the channel, um, how they got the roles, and just kind of a, a background on their previous work history, I guess. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, my name's Denzel, you know, after the greatest, one of the greatest actors of all time, Denzel Washington. Um, and just one name though, like Prince, you know, uh, so just one, Denzel. Um, my parents kind of knew that I would be great, so. Denzel. Hi, yeah, I'm Sebastian, um, and I play Ricky on the Dante and Ricky channel. Well, I, I think it's kind of obvious, but I'll, 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 I'll play along. I am Dante. Um, I'm Dante. Uh, yeah. You know, I frequent Craigli Craigslist, so, you know, I'm always looking for something free, um, some, any gigs available. Um, and I found that I have the most success on Craigslist. So when this one came up, you know, I just went for it, just like a normal job. Um, they hired me. Well, it was kind of weird uh, for my usual roles. It's a little more professional. But this one I found on Craigslist. Um, it was an ad. Um, I was just, you know, browsing the web. And I found this ad for this role. They were looking for two guys, one uh, a black person and an Asian person uh, to be two friends, you know. Uh, to play along and do videos together. So, yeah, I, I found it on Craigslist. It was weird, but, you know. Yeah, uh, they were just looking for an Asian man. I think I just fit the bill. Oh, yes, yes. I had an amazing time there at Juilliard. Well, you know, the, the one of the greatest prestigious acting schools. Um, I graduated in uh, 2016, and, you know, I was the top of my class. Uh, so, yeah, Juilliard. Um, I did a lot of background work in uh, Marvel films. Um, so if you look around, if you look really closely in Black Panther in one of the scenes, um, you can see me. Uh, that one, I was just an extra. Um, I had a line in one of the Law and Orders. So just a quick line like, I'm walking here! I like the Dante Urban Survival Training because that one I got to show my range. You know, I really like that one. I also liked... The Halloween episode. I really like that one too. I think any video where Denzel is uh, struggling or suffering, I, I really enjoy those. So I think the Halloween one where he had to eat the pork blood, that, that was very, uh, that was very fun. I guess he enjoyed the pork blood more than I thought. No, I, I didn't like that part. That, that part wasn't acting. That was in fact real. Um, I didn't like that at all. Both the character Dante, and Denzel, the actor. Um, well, we get here, you know, I drive quite a while to get over here um, to film, and we set up everything, and then, you know, we, 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 we decide which video, and then obviously I make the final decision on which video it is, and then we shoot it. Uh, so, you know, I get into the studio early, um, you know, I make myself a cup of coffee, I set up the camera, I set up the tripod, set up the studio, essentially. Um, Denzel strolls in about 30, 40 minutes late. Um, then he kind of just sits around on his phone, uh, goes through TikTok sometimes. Uh, he just kind of sits there while I set up uh, and I start to plan some of the content for the day's shoot. I tell him what we're going to do and we just start filming. I am an actor, a thespian, if you will. And I just, you know, whatever I'm feeling, whatever the idea is, whatever feels the best is what we shoot, basically. <laughs> Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Um, me, obviously. You know, top billing, I'm first, right? Like Dante and Ricky. It's not Ricky and Dante. It's Dante and Ricky, number one. So my character's first and gets the top billing. Um, and then, like I said, I get final say on everything. So, you know, people like Denzel... They, they like to think they're in charge. And I've, I've worked with people like that before. You know, I've, I've done many Craigslist gigs. So I know, you know, what it, it takes to deal with people like that. So I always like to make them think they're in charge. 
but really you're in charge. He's uh he think he's the manager of the establishment. I'm the president. Sebastian is you know somebody that will do anything, you know? Um and 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 will say anything as well too. So him think making me think that's impossible. What we're really doing here is I'm making him think that I think that I'm just the manager, you know, and then that making me think I'm in charge when I'm really in charge. Sometimes a good leader lets the other person make uh, some decisions or suggestions, if you will. All right. So for number two of our top five Disney movies. Big number two. Um, yeah. Do you already know what it is? Oh, yeah. I know what it is. Okay. Okay. So number two for me is going to be Toy Story. And number two for me is going to be The Lion King. The Lion King? Yes, The Lion King. What? Lion King is not number one for you? No, it's not number one, number two, because I have a different number one. I, I, okay, whatever. This is what I have to work with. Anyways, I'll edit all this out, so don't worry about that. Um, do, are you sure you don't want to change your number two? I can change it and post I don't edit. It's need fine. to change I can nothing change because I am correct. I'm always correct. Lion King is number two. You're the actor. All right, you can continue this. You know what? I will continue it because you know what? I should have been leading the whole time. So for the number one Disney movie on my end, I have The Incredibles. Number one is Incredibles? Yeah, number one is The That's Incredibles. That's just incredibly wrong. This is why I did the top, last top fives alone. Because we just need Dante's opinion. Ricky's opinion is always wrong. You couldn't even have a top five music because you don't listen to music. You can't have a top five movies because, oh, I don't watch movies. Oh, you couldn't have a top five I doubt you games. even watch or listen to games. those. I doubt you even did any of those. You're probably just pretending like you did all of those. You just probably went to like IMDB or whatever. I'm getting into the character of Dante. Like, why would that guy put a movie that had a 50% rating in his top five? We don't know. You I don't have that. a Juilliard degree. No one's ever seen this before. It's in my room. No one has ever seen you it's in anything. It's in my room. You don't have a degree. I have a degree. I went to the actors. If you look, I could print. I could just get a piece of paper and write down I, what the, what school I went oh, to. Oh, what school did you go to? Did you go to it on Craigslist? <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna lie about that. What school do they have You've on Craigslist? You've been acting your whole life. You don't even know what's reality. I'm not. Daniel should have given you the reality stone to snap you back to reality. You know. How dare you? Question my acting, sir. I put my whole life into it. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Every day with you. Every day it's the same thing, Sebastian. It's the same. God, oh, you're going to walk away? You're going to walk away? Good. Obviously, the footage is unusable. Um, this is what happens when you... If we just had another trained actor, we could get through video. Like, all the time. But we have Sebastian. Uh, I think we just had a disagreement. I, I didn't agree with his choices, so, you know. Uh, and he, he was really giving off this obnoxious vibe. And I wanted to kind of humble him, but you saw what happened. He, he kept bringing up his acting career, I guess. You know, the, the, the Dutch video was actually supposed to be a whole fight scene. But then we had to scramble and change because Sebastian's not classically trained to fight and do fight scenes. I've done so many fight scenes in my time, it's ridiculous. Have you ever seen the music video Beat It, Michael Jackson? I wasn't in that one, but like it was in a parody one um, done like later on. It was called Beat It From Behind. And that's where we had a huge, humongous fight scene. I mean, it was really, really great. He was in that? I didn't know he starred in that. That was a good film. Uh, yeah, film. It was... um. His name was like Johnson or something like that? Don Johnson. Don Johnson was the other, my, my fight scene partner. There's some nudity involved, so he, I, I'm surprised he was into that. Uh, so I knew Don Johnson was in it. it was, you know, that's why I gravitated towards that video. Um, I guess you could call it fighting. Yes, uh, he did, you know, Don Johnson came out victorious. 
Uh, actually, he came twice. He did. He did, but you know, as a trained actor, I could take it off. I'm surprised Denzel was in Beat It from behind. Um, yeah, I, 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 I continue working with Sebastian. I mean, I, I guess I have to. Um, this Dante and Ricky thing is, is, is something special to us, so I, I, I guess we gotta keep going. I can't stand Sebastian, but I, I gotta keep doing this, man. I can't do those movies anymore. I really can't do it anymore, bro. Like beat it from behind? Yeah, beat it from behind and all the other ones, like... All the other ones? Big Dongs and Jail Guys and uh, Booty Grabbers and the one with the horse. All those different ones. I just, I just can't do it anymore, bro. You know, knowing that he was in that film, it does increase my respect for him. I think, yeah. I, I think, you know, to make this work, you, someone has to give uh, and, you know, keep things going. I don't mind working with him. He has his flaws, but who doesn't? That Denzel guy looks like he's your twin. Yeah, and Sebastian looks exactly like, it's so weird. It's so weird. It's so, I think we'll have to talk to our manager because I thought we were the first. Like, yeah. this is weird. They, it looked like they had the whole setup and everything. Yeah. And, and the costumes, they made us wear the exact same costumes. We've been friends for 15 years, right? I don't know anymore. <laughs>